Okay, so now that we got everything, so if you guys are catching this on YouTube, make sure you watch yesterday's video. I'm gonna link the description. I'm gonna link, I'm gonna link it right in the description below, but that's how you set up a Facebook uh, business manager. Okay, that's super, super important. That's basic, that's step one. After you set that up, now, you're, now, now we're back over here on the dashboard. So the way I got here is I clicked on the dots. Everything is about the dots. Click on the dots, we clicked on ads manager. This is where you're gonna be running ads from. Click on the green button, and this takes you through the setup of the ads. But before we get there, that's, what, that's why I truly, truly want to take, for example, Dan, my man Dan that's on the line right now, I really want to teach him and coach him the right way because what most people do is they think they can just slap an ad on, come in here, smash the green button, set up an ad, and all of a sudden they're going to capture leads. It's like, dude, it doesn't happen that way. There's, there's, there's pre, you got pregame. We, we're, right now we're, we're in the pregame. You know, this is, this is pregame. We're setting everything up first because we want to launch successfully. So I'm taking Dan by the hand and I'm walking him through the different parts of this ads manager that we have to set up first before we just roll out. And so what we're going to focus on on this call is, is really what I call step two. It's setting up your custom audiences, making sure that, in fact, you know what, what we're going to do first is we're going to set the pixel. Let, I rephrase it. Yeah, let, 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 let's start all over. We're going to set the, the pixel. That has to be set up first before we even set up the custom audiences and the pixel is what allows Facebook to start tracking who's landing on the pages and well as I keep taking you guys through this series of training I'm going to be you know walking you through on on and, and and explaining why these different components are so important and why you can't just roll out an ad and 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 and, and all of a sudden think you're going to capture leads without without doing any of this stuff you don't you can't skip a beat when when it comes to any of this stuff every Every feature, every step of the way is important. Without it, we, we won't be able to run ads. So here's what's going on right now. So again, the whole, this whole call is going to be how to set up your Facebook pixel. That's what we're going to focus on right now. That is step two. Okay. That's where we're at right now. So if you can notice right here in the top, I have this Facebook pixel helper. This is a simple plugin. You can download it for free on, on, on Google. So if you go to Google and you type in Facebook, pixel helper facebook pixel helper okay this is free you can download it right here click on the top one the chrome uh, google store go to the, the the chrome web store right here mine's already installed so if, if 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 yours is already installed it'll say right here remove but if if you don't have it installed then it'll say right here just you know install it so you'll just install this and all this is it's a plugin that sits right here at the top of your web web browser and all this allows me to do is it allow I, me personally, I only use it for my personal reasons to check my personal pages. I can care less with who is Facebook pixeling me. So as I navigate the internet and as I'm just in cyber world and as I'm going to all these different random websites, whether I'm shopping or, or I'm doing research on other shit and I'm just on random websites, this thing lights up or it doesn't. And so in this case, um, in fact, if I go back to, to your page, this is, these are our pages. And that's why this call is so important because I'm going to install the pixel as I can tell right here, as I'm on your page, there's no pixel on it. So again, most people rookies, they'll come in, run a Facebook ad and they don't even have a damn pixel on the page. And then they wonder why they didn't capture any leads. It's like shit, dude, Facebook had no idea you were even running ads to it. Cause there's no pixel on it. And Facebook's not able to track shit. So, so what we're going to do, and, and so as I'm navigating the, the web, as I'm explaining, I'll see who's Facebook pixeling me and who's not. And again, I don't care who is and who's not. I don't even care. I, I really use it for my personal reasons. So when I'm setting up pages in Kartra, I want to make sure that my pixel is on it correctly. So I'll simply open up the page. I'll come over here. I'll notice if this thing is on. If it's not, then my pixel wasn't installed correctly. So, so you can tell from, 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 from um, up here, there's no pixel. If I go to any of my other pages, let's say Facebook FB ads for beginners, this is another one of my capture pages. Now, if you notice the damn thing lit up and right here, it'll tell you pixel, pixel, and this is public information. So if anybody else is tracking and, and, and they have their Facebook pixel up and they go to my FB ads for beginners.com, they'll see this, they can see this, but you, none of this information is private. It doesn't matter. It's public. It, it's no big deal. But, but again, as I'm surfing, I can see who's pixeling me. 
But again, most importantly, when I have my pages up and ready to go, I can make sure I can click on it and make sure that my pixel is, is fired up. Okay, because that's the most important. That's step two. That's the whole purpose of this call. So what I'm going to do, Dan, is I'm going to install these pixels on your two pages. We got the landing page, and then we have the thank you page. The pixel has to be on both of these pages. And so um, let's get into it. So as I come into the ads manager, right here, this is the dashboard. I want to click on these dots, and then I want to click on events manager. That's where it's going to start. Now, the pixel is for those that actually have a web page, so or a website, or a landing page, or an opt-in page, whatever the hell you want to call it. If you're trying to do anything online, you have to have a pixel on that page. Okay, and so, and and this is this is one huge huge reason why Facebook has so much freaking data, because if you're online today and you have a website, and and you know somewhat something about marketing or anything, you most likely have your pixel on this page. And that's why thanks for coming to my channel because if you don't have your pixel on your page, I'm gonna walk you through how to set up your pixel and pixel on your page. And you want your pixel on your page because even if you're not running Facebook ads currently, at least Facebook is still tracking all the people who are landing there. And, and, and on our next call, we're gonna go over custom audiences where you'll be able to start segmenting these different people who are landing on your landing page and those who are landing on your thank you page. Those are two different types of people. A person that lands on the landing page, but they don't fill out the form. That's one type of visitor. That person's gonna be tracked. The other person came to the landing page, clicked on the button and actually filled out the form and those people came to the thank you page. That's a different type of person. So because my pixel will now be on both pages, I'm going to be able to create what Facebook calls a custom audience. And I'm going to start segmenting these people, which is super powerful when it comes to targeting my Facebook audience. So again, in this call, I'm going to keep it, I'm going to keep it super simple. We're going to focus just on the pixel. So again, as you could tell, there's no pixel on either of these pages. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set it up now. So we clicked on events manager. We came over here. I'm gonna make sure we name this pixel. So what do we have names for already? We have names for the business manager. We have a name for the ad account. We're also going to name our Facebook pixel. So this right here is going to be the same name. We're gonna keep the same name. We're gonna rock the same name for everything. It's the name of our business manager. It's the name of our ad account. It is the name of our Facebook pixel. So I'm gonna name it right there. I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And then I'm gonna come down here and I'm going to, um, let's see if I can grab the pixel from here. Let's go ahead and accept these terms. Um, and then this is compliant, this is upload offline events. Okay, so we don't, need, we don't need that just yet. We don't need to create an audience for that just yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to back to upload, or actually let's confirm this, let's get out of here. Okay, so now here's what I'm gonna do. So there's, there's our event set. So let me refresh this page really quick. And let's make sure that we can grab our pixel. Perfect. So we'll grab it from here. So connect. And then what we can do is we can name the pixel right here. So we're going to name it again. We just named it, but we'll just do it again. Compliant health care solutions and then the website that's optional because we're going to have different websites we have this we have the same website but we're going to have many different pages so we're going to leave that part blank so as long as we can name the pixel and then get access to the pixel this is for offline this is for online so all we care about really is the online events that are happening which are the visitors of our pages so now we're right here so again what i normally do is I normally have people bookmark this. So right here, this is your pixel. So I would, I would come over here, I'd hit the star, I would, I would name it pixel, I would put it in the ads manager, and now you have that bookmarked. Because it's very important to always come back to your pixel. So because it's a brand new pixel, this is what we'll see. We'll continue pixel setup. We'll insto inst install code manually. We'll copy the code. We hit continue, and we wanna turn on automatic advanced 
matching. And all this does is it allows Facebook to find even more data on your audience. So um, this is internally for, for Facebook's purpose, but when you can turn that automatic advanced matching on, it's a good thing. It just gives Facebook the ability to find even more, to find even more data, but to find your audience even faster. So, so you want to make sure so, you turn that on. And then all we're going to do is we copied the pixel code. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to X out of this and I'm going to come to the Kartra page. This is where we now go into the page. So no matter what landing page software you're using, if you're using ClickFunnels, if you're using Kartra, if you're using lead pages, Kajabi, it's all the same. Um, there should be a settings where you can come into the page and you can simply go into the builder and in Kartra, we use Kartra for everything. So I use Kartra for my landing pages, my email automation, my membership course, my calendar, my affiliate marketing. So if you're new to the online space, I highly, highly encourage you Click on the link in the description, profitwithkartra.online. There's a 14-day trial where you can set this up and really dive into all this stuff. And what I also do is I, I, I offer free strategy calls. So set up a 14-day trial, and then we'll set up a strategy call where we can jump on and I can teach you everything about Kartra, just like I'm doing with Dan. Um, but activate that 14-day day trial first. And, and I always tell people, if you're using different softwares, a different software for your email autoresponder, a different software for your landing pages, a different software for your online calendar. I'm telling you, man, you have to compare it to Kartra. So again, there's a 14 day trial profit with Kartra dot online, activate a 14 day trial and let's compare it. I'll jump on with you and I'll walk you through it all. But this is what Dan and I use for everything. And so in this case, these are the two pages that we're working with these two pages right here. That's what I have up over here. So again, I copied the pixel. So I already have it copied. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it over to um, the actual page. You can tell right here, these are, these, there's, there's, no, there's no pixel, but once I add it, we're going to refresh these pages and we should now see it light up. So these are the two pages. So let's go ahead and go into the builder. I'm going to click on edit. And this is where we add our Facebook pixel inside of a Karcher page. We simply click on edit. We're going to come into the builder. And all we're going to do is we're going to click on settings on the left hand side. And it's simply, it's, it's simply copy and paste you guys. That's all we did over here on the Facebook side. We copied it. And then now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on settings, tracking code. And right down here at the bottom, I'm going to paste in my Facebook ads tracking code. So boom, I'm going to paste it in right here. There's the code. This is the code. Long ass, all these digits. I don't know what the hell any of this means. All I know is that it tracks everything. So, so copy it, paste it, and then click apply. And then we're going to come over here, say progress. And then we're going to publish live and we're going to do it again to our thank you page. So let's get out of here. Let's go to our thank you page and let's add it there. And those, again, those are the two pages that I have already opened. Once I add it to the thank you page, we'll go ahead and test um, our, our pages by refreshing it and seeing if the Facebook pixel helper lights up, which it should. So let's go ahead and come into the thank you page. And again, the reason why the pixel is so important, especially on the thank you page, because as you start to run Facebook ads, you want to be able to look at your metrics. You want to be able to track everything. If you're spending money, you have to know if leads are coming in, right? And so adding the pixel to the thank you page allows Facebook to start tracking that because we're going to tell Facebook, whoever lands on this page is a lead. Very straightforward. Very, very straightforward. But Facebook cannot do that if we don't cover our bases, if we don't handle the basics first and that's by simply installing the pixel so there it is there we click apply now we're going to come over here we're going to save progress with Kartra it's a three-step exit save progress publish live and that goes goes at that, that that right there goes in and, and lights it up for the world it's it's now live for anybody to go to and then I return a dashboard so now here, here, here's, here's the ultimate test. We just installed the pixel on our pages. 
Now, again, that's why you want to install the Facebook pixel helper because again, I don't care who's tracking me. I care if I install it correctly on my own shit. So that's why I have it here. So right now, no pixels found, right? On the thank you page, no pixels found. But now as I come over here and I refresh the page, let's see what happens now. Bam, it lights up. It lights up. Now if I click on it, compliant healthcare solutions. That's the pixel that is now on the page. Hallelujah. That right there is so, so important. And now that means we're in business. Let's track and let's refresh the thank you page and make sure that this page lights up as well. There it is there. Lights up blue. Got the number two. And we click on that. There's our Facebook pixel. That right there, you guys, is as basic as it gets. That's, that's, that's as simple as it gets. And that right there, man, is the most important. So if I refresh this page over here, Again, I would bookmark this page. I'd put it in the ads manager folder and I would call this page pixel. Um, you always want to be able to get back Can to you bookmark pixel. it for me. What's that? Can you bookmark it for me and put it in the, in the manager? No, you, you'll have to do it on your end once you log in on your end, but, but we'll, I do, understand. That. we'll do that on our next call. That's fine. So, so right here we got healthcare solutions. Um, and then down here, you'll start to see the activity. So as, as, we, as, as people start to come to these pages, you always want to refresh your pages as well. Always refresh the pages. We already did it, but we're going to refresh it again. And, and as, as people start to land on these pages, this activity, you'll start to see the activity and the numbers start to go up. But that's just the pixel. I don't really care about that, but I, I do care to see it live. And you'll see a green dot and it'll say page view. And you'll start to see how many people are actually viewing it. But that's just for this metric. We don't really care about that. It's not really going to be necessary for anything, but you'll start to see it here in the future. Um, you'll see page view. You'll start to see different metrics right here. Um, but this is the actual pixel. Now on our next call, we'll cover audiences. That's super important, you guys. So if you're catching this on YouTube, make sure you watch the next video. Now that we added our pixels on the page, here's what our next video is going to be, Dan. The next video is going to be custom audiences. And the reason why that's so, so important is because now as we have our, up our ads manager, as we have our Facebook pixel installed, now we're going to be able to set up custom audiences. And why that's so important is because of this. As we start to run ads, we have, keeping it this simple, we have these two pages, right? We have a, a, a landing page, which is our opt-in page, where we're going to be sending people to, to enter their name and email. Once they do, they then go to this thank you page, which our pixel is now tracking. Now, what we want to be able to do, though, is we want to be able to specifically segment these two different types of people. So custom audience number one is going to be people who visit the page but don't opt in. Custom audience number two are going to be people who opted in. And who are the people that opted in? leads. So we're going to be able to tell Facebook through our custom audience, anyone who lands on this specific link, tag them as a lead. And why do I really want that in the future is because as I continue to run Facebook ads, now that I set this page up, this link under a custom audience under leads, as I continue to run future Facebook ads, I want to be able to exclude this audience from ever seeing future ads because anyone who lands here, they're already a lead. Why do they need to keep seeing my ad? They don't. Unless I'm running ads for something completely different that is also relevant to the audience. Okay, well then maybe I'll, I'll, I'll target this audience. But if I'm running the same ad over and over different variations of the same type of, of free offer, let's say we have a 10 page PDF and we're just trying to get as many people to download as possible. We're running ads for several months out of the year and that's our one offer. We're getting people to the page so they can download our free download. Well, again, people who download it and land here, they better be in an audience and you better be excluding that audience from ever seeing your future ads. Because if I already downloaded your shit or if I already bought your shit, don't keep showing me the same damn shit. You better shove it down the throat. Yeah. You can't, you can't do that. I understand. Right? Yeah. yeah. That, that and then all, people I'll have annoyed, but then also you'll spend way more money than you need to. 
Okay. So, so that's why you want to be able to exclude these different people. And this applies for anything. In this case, I'm going over two basic pages, your opt-in page and your thank you page. But as you build out more funnels, every page is just important. I have many pages in many different funnels. My pixel is on all the pages. I'm setting up audiences on many different pages, but this is as basic as it gets a, a, a landing page and a thank you page. These are two different custom audiences that you want to be able to set up for sure. That's going to be on the next call. So again, make sure you don't miss that. Um, but this one is right here is your Facebook pixel. Now we're ready to go. Now we're in business compliant healthcare solutions. That's how to install a Facebook pixel.